Hello to everybody. Welcome to today's online session. Welcome to Connection Wednesdays. My name is Juraj from Idea Statica. Uh, we are using GoToWebinar. Uh, kindly notice the uh, ribbon on the right with all the audio settings. So make sure you can hear us. Uh, you are by default uh, muted. Please type in all the questions to the tab on the right. We will be answering them continuously and go through uh, as much uh, of them as possible uh, at the end. Very well, so people can hear us, that's very good. Uh, allow me to introduce my colleagues. We have two product engineers today as uh, the speakers, uh, Jana and Adam. Uh, uh, we all work in the sales and support of Idea Statica and prepared four examples to go through. First one, we will model a steel joint like this from scratch and uh, take a little bit more look uh, on the member capacity design. Uh, next example uh, will be this uh, complex tubular 3D joint. We'll show how to do it fast, efficiently, clear output code check. Uh, we will show the workflow with SAP 2000. We will export this joint from SAP 2000 to Idea Statica and uh, then we'll uh, have an example with Tecla structures. We'll take this uh, complex star shaped joint from Tecla structures, send it to Idea, do what's necessary for a proper code check. Uh, after the webinar, I will uh, kindly ask you to fill out a short survey. Uh, we will surely send a recording no later than in three days of this uh, and all the information as well as the trial version is at our website. Uh, we have something special for you today as well, but we'll get to that after the examples. So uh, let's uh, jump right into the first example. I will hand it over to Jana and let's do that. Hello everyone, I hope you can hear me and that you can see my screen. I will show you the first example, which will be the member capacity design. So we will start with a new project in Idea Statica Connection. And in the first step, we can choose between two standards. Uh, the first example will be in Eurocode and it will be 2D frame and I will choose the basic topology, this one. Okay, so now the software offers me uh, the, the topology where I can start from. So if I'm not satisfied with the cross-section, I can change it, of course. So first, I will change the cross-section of the column. I want it to be the HEI section uh, 240, so I will find it in the lab library. I will press OK. And for the beam, I want it to be the IPE 240R. So again, I will find it in the library and press OK. The column, uh, sorry, the beam B2 will be the same, so I don't have to uh, look for it again, but I will just change it. OK. Now I will continue to load effects. Uh, the column is the bearing member and if in this basic mode I cannot load it, I can load only the ends of the beams. If I uh, check the advanced mode to check equilibrium, I can load all four sections of the joint and the software uh, also checks whether I'm uh, I fulfill the equilibrium or not. So I will I will load the join with some normal force and also with some shear force and with some bending moment as well. Okay. And I can see I don't have any unbalanced forces with the joint in, within the joint. So I can proceed to the design of the joint. 
uh, I can choose from uh, many types of manufacturing operations. I will start with the connection of B to beam and I wanted to I wanted to connect it with a cleat, which is this operation. Uh, the bolts, I will choose a grade of bolts and a size of bolts. And now I want to connect the member B2 with its web and to member C. Now I will choose the profile to connect with and I want the section H80-8012. Which is this one. Okay, so I can see the cleat right away. Uh, the length of the cleat is 150 and I want the location to be on both sides. So now you can see the, the cleat is on both sides. I will just adjust the spacing of bolts a little bit. Okay, and if I'm satisfied, I can cop, uh, I can continue to uh, the connection of the flanges. Uh, I also want to add a cleat, and I don't have to start uh, from the beginning. I can copy the operation, and I can only change the web to top flange. I will adjust the length and the location will be only front. So you can see it's here and I will again adjust the spacing. Yes. Oh, sorry. It's like this. Uh, the same will be for the bottom flange, so I will again copy it, change the bottom flange and I, the location will be rear. Yes, like this. I want to connect, now I will continue uh, with the beam B1, so I will show just uh, one more operation. Uh, I will show you a fin plate on a B1 on the top flange connected to member C with thickness 10 millimeters, gap 10 millimeters, overlap 200 and the top and bottom size 4040 and the location will be rear, yes, like this, bolts are the same. Now the spacing of of the balls and I will also define the thickness of the web, uh, sorry of the weld and uh, maybe I want a little bit uh, better shape of the fin plate so I can go to editor and add a bevel which will cut the corners. I want to cut the corner B and I want also to cut the corner 3 like this. Okay, so now I would continue with copying the, uh, the fin plate to the bottom flange. I will add a cleat to the web of B1 element and I will also add stiffeners. Uh, I will just jump to a project where I already edit all those operations so that you, uh, we are faster and now I can continue uh, with the calculation if I'm, if I'm finished with the design. So I will only press calculate, uh, yes, and after the analysis will be performed. The first view will be uh, scheme according to traffic light uh, system. So I will see different colors. Uh, basically the red parts 
are the worst one and they did not fulfill the standard criteria. If I will see something orange, like for example this plate, it means that the uh, that the member is loaded something between 95 to 100 percent of the limit. The green parts are between 60 to 95 percent and the gray ones are below 60 percent. So this was the stress strain analysis of the joint. Uh, I will not discuss now the results of the analysis uh, because Adam will uh, Adam will go it through with you in the second example, but uh, we wanted to perform the member capacity design. So, how to do that? In the project items, I can choose the type of analysis, uh, and it this will be the first one. This were sorry was the first one, and now I will copy the item and I will change the analysis type. Now it will be the member capacity design. In the geometry, I can choose which member will be the analyzed one. In this case, I will choose the B1 member as the analyzed one. And in the load effects, I can directly see the maximum bending moment that the that the uh, sorry the beam can transmit. So I will go uh, to the calculation, and in the end I will see whether the joint fulfills uh, the criteria for member capacity. The member capacity design is useful mostly for regions uh, where some seismic activity can appear. So in these regions we have to check uh, the connections for the member capacity. And as I told you before, the red parts did not satisfy uh, the code. So I can see the joint is not okay. Uh, and I have to make it a little bit uh, stronger. So uh, basically, I have prepared, I, uh, sorry, I can go again to project items and copy it again. And in the connection three, I can play around with, uh, with it. I can make uh, the fin plates thicker, the stiffeners thicker. I can choose better grade of bolts and that's what I have done in uh, another file so that we are faster. So you can see I have some uh, bigger bolts with uh, higher strength and I have made, uh, I have made uh, bigger the, the fin plate and also the stiffeners. And after I ran the analysis, uh, you can see that now the connection is okay regarding the member capacity design. If you want to check, for example, another connection, for example, oh, sorry, another beam, uh, another member, the beam one, so you can again go to project items, copy it like this, and in the geometry, I will choose, for example, the B2 as the analyzed member, and I can perform the analysis again. So, Basically, that's all from member capacity design, and now I will pass the presenter to Adam, who will show you the second example. Hello, everybody. This is Adam, and I'm going to show you an example of a, a nice 3D tubular joint going to look like this one. So I just started a new project again and this time we will use the US code for the check. So AISC and and I choose this topology of 3D join and for example this one that we can uh, change later of course as desired here in the geometry 
step. So first what I do, I'm going to form the shape of the joint, change the cross sections. So I go to cross section editor and choose a tube. So that will be pipe 12XS for the main beam. And I change the geometrical type to ended. So I can work with that a bit later. Change the length to 30 inches and change the direction and also move it a little bit in the X direction. So the first member is done. So I continue with uh, the second one, D1. So again, I choose a pipe and this time it's going to be 6 STD and I change the pitch angle and also move it a little bit closer to the center of the joint. All right, so let's continue with D2. For this one, I find another cross section in the library, pipe uh, 10 STD. So it looks like this. And here I'm fine with those parameters. So I just continue to member V. And here I change the cross section to already set 6 STD tube. So it's there. And I add another member M5 to finish the geometry modeling. And for that I would use 12XS and that would be uh, the second part of the main beam. So I change the angle here, uh, type of length and move it a little bit in the X direction. So it's looking like this now. All right. So then I continue with load effects. Here again, um, we go to the advanced mode, as Anna told you. We check the equilibrium. And I also can choose here between the two um, codes of the um, American uh, standard. So I'll choose ASD, which is newer and mo more used nowadays. And here I can show you also how to, you can of, of course uh, fill the table by hand, as Anna told you and showed you. And you can also use import. Just import the data from an Excel sheet. So that's what I'm going to do now. I have prepared an Excel sheet here with the, with the forces, with the numbers. So I just simply copy and paste the forces into the table. And you can see in the screen and also in the tab that is there. All right, so I'm done with the load effects. Uh, setting so I continue to design and here I start with the first operation to connect the two pipes of the main beam for that uh, connection I use a, a operation plate to plate here I choose a default bolt assembly that would be this one and and the size of the bolt. All right. And now I start to uh, modify the operation. So I change uh, the member two to M5, the second part of the main beam, and change the thickness of the plate and change it to circular type of plate like this one. Change the radius to 10 inches uh, in the radius to 5.875. So it goes it goes through here. It's actually cut now. It's just a circle. The bolts I've already set as default. So I continue with the radius of the bolts. 
So it's here on the rim and I just multiply them by 12. So it's looking good now. Uh, what else can I do here? Just modify the weld size. So I just type 3 to 8 and also 3 to 8 here and also I can modify here the quality of the weld to 80xx. So this is looking good. The first operation done. And now I'm, I will continue with the operation cut to connect all the all the members here, all the rest of the beams, like D1 to uh, CH, and just to skip skip uh, skip this and, and save time. I also prepared already done design here. So as you can see, I just added four cut operations to weld those members to the main beam. So now it's there. And since now I'm done with the modeling, I just proceed to check, press calculate and uh, let the iteration process finish the calculation. And in the meanwhile, I can show you uh, our resource center. Uh, if you type ideastatica.com, it's our web page. You go to resources here and you click on Idea Statica Steel. And uh, you get to our resource center and here you can go through all the um, nice information. Uh, like, uh, for example, we can find also this tutorial that I'm showing you right now. Here is the tubular 3D frame and you can go step by step on your own through this example and play around with that. You can also download the source files here, um, the idea file and also the Excel sheet with the forces or if you want to print out a PDF document, it's there as well. So here the project is calculated and I can see it's shining red so there's something wrong. Uh, those plates or mainly those bolts uh, didn't satisfy the check. So I have to solve it somehow to redesign um, the connection. And for that um, I go to design again. I can simply modify any operation of those to to make a, a, a better design that would that would uh, just pass the check and here I can just simply change the the shear force transfer of the bolts. I, I had a, a bearing tension shear interaction that means normal bolts and if I switch to friction that means I'm using now preloaded bolts and since there's a quite a big uh, normal force and then bending moment on the main beam at both ends. Uh, this is really uh, a nice example for using preloaded bolts. So for that I just changed the shear force transfer to friction and recalculate the project and again to save the time I have a calculated already in another file. So this is the result. As you can see, you can go again to design and see that the friction is here. And now we go to going to check the results. So we see since we changed the preloaded bolts, um, the connection is all okay. All green, that means all good. And we can check the the results more detailly. Yeah, you can, for example, see the equivalent stress. That means the stress on the joint. You can turn on the mesh uh, visibility. Also turn on the deformation. So we see how the joint is uh, deformed. Also, we can go through uh, plastic strain to see where the plastification occurs in the joint. 
and here you can see there was a question about uh, which kind of elements do we use so we use sur surface elements for the plates so that's it for this example and I'm going now to um, switch the presenter to Jana again I was going to show you a SAP 2000 link so So hello, hello again. Uh, Area Statica offers the op uh, the option to uh, import the connection from another software. So there are basically two types of softwares. Uh, some of them are CAD programs uh, like Tecla. Uh, the example of import from Tecla will be shown by Adam in the next example. I will show you the export from SAP 2000, which is the uh, analysis software. So uh, I will start with choosing one of the connection, for example, this one. And uh, in advance, I have added a special plugin for uh, this export. Uh, and it's really easy to add the plugin here. So I will choose the joint and I will also uh, choose all the members connected in the joint. Now I will use this plugin for the export and a wizard uh, opens. Here I have to define according to which code I want to follow. I want the Eurocode again and you can also define here the bearing member and you have the overview of different load cases etc. And after I press uh, connection design, the Idea Statica project should open automatically, yes. So I can see the geometry was imported from SEP 2000 and what more, I have also imported all the load cases automatically. You can, you can see it in the load effects. Uh, for this example, I will erase, erase some of them so that the analysis is faster, just like this. So in the, in the geometry, I will just make the diagonals a little bit longer. Sorry, it's not the diagonal. Uh, when you see that somewhere is zero and apparently the length of the diagonal is not zero, uh, it means that the software uses the default value, uh, which means uh, it's two to three times the height of the cross section. So I don't have to go to load effects because I have imported it and I will go directly to design. I want to uh, connect those two diagonals by the stiffening plate, which is this one. Uh, the thickness will be 10 millimeters and the size is uh, 160 and 215. It will be this, uh, the, mm, sorry, uh, the plate will be on member DM1 on its bottom flange and uh, therefore I have to rotate it 90 degrees, yes, like this. And I want to use the double fillet weld so this is the plate and now I will cut the diagonals. I will cut the first uh, diagonal uh, by the, by the <clears throat> horizontal member and I want it to be the perpendicular cut with the offset of 20 millimeters. The same operation will be applied on the second diagonal, therefore I will just copy it and change 
the name. And I want to make a grid of bolts here. I will use this operation. I want to have the bolt grade 10.9 and the size M16. Okay, like this. The bolt will have to go uh, through three plates. The first one uh, will be the member, the first diagonal and the web one. Second will be the stiffening plate SP1 and the third uh, plane is again the member uh, with the web two. So you can see the bolt was added here and I want to have four bolts so I will just add some bolts by yes by the rows and positions like this again I will copy the operation for the second diagonal I will only change the name and I think I'm done so I can calculate and after the analysis is performed I can directly see first the traffic light function with those colors and if I want to go into details about stresses and uh, strains I can investigate everything so basically everything is gray which means that the load is much lower than the resistance of the joint it's uh, the load is less than 60 percent of the limit so everything is great but if i am fine with the design i will show you now the report which is very useful we have three types but i will show you only the detailed one you can go to to the report section and add a different different views for also the bill of materials and drawings and after I refresh I can see all uh, all the evaluations all the views and also the basic drawings with uh, sizes of all members in the connection I can download or print this report and and I'm done and now Adam uh, will show you the last example also the export from now from Tecla so I'm passing the presenter back to Adam hi again, hi again. It's Adam here hope you're still there <laughs> So, in the meanwhile, I just opened an interesting project in Tecla and uh, I'm showing you now just a part of it, this uh, star-shaped joint, which I want to import and check in, in IDEA. So, what I do, I already integrated uh, the, the BIM link to, from Tecla to IDEA which is automatically done uh, at the installation of IDEA Statica. So you don't have to bother with that. So now I just, uh, in the tech lot, there's a icon on, on, the, on the ribbon IDEA connection and here you can choose European or American code. So let's try, for example, the European now. And now we use the function. So we just find the uh, the center of the joint, the center node, this one. Then we click on all the members, all the beams. And the next step, we select all the items of the joint. Then the uh, window appears. It asks us to, to save the project somewhere, so let's just save it. And Idea Statica opens. Okay. 
and we have the whole joint here now. Just very simple, very nice, it's all there. So we don't have to change anything in the geometry, we just move to the load effects since uh, Tecla is just a CAD program, so there are no forces in the software, so we have to add them. So that's what I'm going to do by import again, as I showed you before. I have a, a tab here with the forces for the Tecla example. So again, I just paste it here and it's there. A lot of text here. All right. So I move to design as a next step. It's uh, all the design operations are also imported from Tecla. Uh, I will only add a, a weld to connect those members to the center plate, just to show you another operation. So I do it uh, by cut. And what I'm going to cut is the member two. I cut it by this plate. So here I switch to plate and here in the left uh, bottom corner of the 3D screen, you can see the generally located plate uh, number 10. So that's how I identify it. So I change to plate 10. And here I change the cutting method to surface. And you see it's cut and also the weld was generated there as well. I can switch it here or play with it. So I can just leave it as a default because I like it this way. So now I just copy the operation to the rest of the beams to those two as well. I only change the, the members. So here will be the member two and plate number nine. And I change the side of the weld because now it's uh, the other way around since it's uh, rotated. So it's there as well. And for the third, I just do the same. Find the member name, which is member four. Find the plate number, which is 28. And I'm done. So now I just go to calculation, calculate and let it run. And again, in the meanwhile, I can show you another secret in the resource center. There we have also tutorials for all the BIM links. So you can see the softwares here starting with Advanced Steel, Axis Revit Robot, AirFem, AirStop, SIA, and here's also the Tecla link where you can try on your own um, another nice example how to import Tecla projects into IDEA. Of course, there are the source files, both for Tecla and IDEA StudyCam. So you're free to free to try and there's also a gallery of uh, projects from our customers, what they have done with this link from Tecla to IDEA, nice joints. So here um, I have the project already calculated. It would take about two minutes more, so just to save time, it's here again. So those are the results. It's all fine, Some mostly it's gray, some bars are green. So we can also just go through, again, the equivalent stress. So let's see what's going on there and how the stress is transferred from the members to the plates and in the balls. We can also see the bolt forces as those little arrows and again, we can just turn on the mesh and deformed uh, feature to see um, how it's being deformed. 
All right. And here in the in in those tabs here, you can go through the details of the analysis. You can see every plate of our joint is checked separately here. So we can just see it here, also see the equivalent stress in this plate, or we can switch to plastic strain too. And can also go through all the bolt checks and weld checks as well. And it's all there. All right, so that's it. I'll just uh, pass the presenter to you right now. I'm going to tell you the rest. Thank you for your attention and um, see you next time, next Wednesday. All right, thank you, Adam. Uh, we will now go to uh, Q&A. Uh, before that, hope you can see my screen now. Is the special something uh, we prepared for you as, as you took uh, your time of the, of the busy day. We call it Verify My Steel Collection. If you have in a project uh, today on your table a complex joint you want to take a look at or you just want to take a devilishly, joint, uh, devilishly complex joint from one of the past projects and send it to us, we will take a look at it, we'll model it in Idea Statica and show you how to save time uh, on this and how the results are accurate. So uh, if you want to use it uh, put together the materials, either drawings, models from other programs like you've just saw, screenshot, send it to us. And uh, how to ask for it? After the webinar, there will be a survey. Uh, so third question, do you want to use special offer verify my steel connection? Just click yes, we will reach out to you and uh, exchange the documentation. All right, so uh, Let's uh, uh, dig into uh, to questions we we have. So uh, let me let me open it up. Um, the first question is: uh, Where are the formulas? Uh, how do they align with the code? Adam. All, All right. right. Mm -hmm. That's pretty That's easy. Pretty easy. Uh, now, since you see my screen, as I showed you in those steps here. In the analysis results, we go to bolts tab, and here we just click on this uh, on this button here, and the formulas for each of uh, the bolts we have in the joint opens, and we can go through it, uh, see all the numbers see the text um, just according to the code oh it's all there nice and clear all right thank you all right. same Adam. for welds i would just add okay okay the next question is uh, uh, about general cross section if we can actually get it from a dxf file if you can use it or do we have to do it in idea uh, again um, yeah, I can answer this question. <laughs> yes, we can. We can uh, import any DXF uh, drawings into IDEA. We can use it for modeling of, of, a, of a member. So we do it here. We just select the general cross section and Okay, I will make you presenter. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, you're not okay. seeing my screen. So once again, so you just go to geometry, and here you want to change the cross section of a member. So you go to my tab, welded composed, and choose the general steel cross section. The editor opens, and here in the code form tab, we choose the general shape, and here. We edit this shape in here. We import the XF. I don't have any now prepared, but <laughs> this is how it works. You can try it on your own. And All right. Yep. Cool. 
Uh, next question is about the BIM links. Uh, actually, a couple of questions. One is direct. Can I import from Start Pro? The other one, what other programs does this work with? Mm -hmm. I, I can show you. As before, we have it in our resource center. There's also a, a section for just the BIM. So here it's, uh, you can see it better maybe. You have CAD programs, that's Tecla and Advanced Deal, and CEA programs, um, Axis Constil, and you were asking about uh, Start Pro? Correct. Yeah, so it's there as well. All right. Uh, the next question, uh, the analysis is always non-linear elastoplastic? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes. <laughs> we use a, a non-linear elastoplastic uh, material model. So the steel is uh, elastoplastic and you can also check the, the material here in the, in the setting and you can change it even. Just uh, modify it to your wish if you have your own material. You just modify it here in this step. All right. Great. Great. Uh, uh, some questions are related to, to loading, actually to the equilibrium. Uh, uh, to maybe explain it again a little bit. What does it mean if, if uh, uh, when we are inputting load effects, if we have check equilibrium or not? Okay, so uh, I can show it again. Presenter. So uh, basically, the joint uh, has to be in equilibrium anytime, uh, and uh, the difference between the advanced mode and the simple mode is that uh, if you have all the internal forces calculated from some another program. So basically you are in equilibrium. So you will just put all the forces you know, on all parts of the connection and surely you will fulfill the equilibrium. So you will, do, you will not have any unbalanced forces. But generally you can uh, define any any load you wish to so uh, so for uh, you don't have to fulfill the equilibrium if you just input the values from your from your head so the software has to put the joint into equilibrium and has to put somewhere the unbalanced forces and this will happen in the support so in the support you will find unbalanced forces. All right. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, another question is uh, uh, about the mix of uh, the codes we support and the sections. So he, we have, can we use European sections in AIC design? Um, yes. I'm just I'm just answering to this question in the chat. Uh, so so that means all, all the combinations all the combinations are possible. You select the code independently, and then the the material uh, sections in the next step. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, or you can of course um, just add your own cross section as wished. So it's all open, and whatever you you like is possible. <laughs> Okay, uh, can we get the report to Microsoft Word? Uh, yes, we can. If we go to, sorry, the report and you save it as, uh, I'm sorry, because it was not calculated. Basically, you uh, in this button, you can save uh, in a special format uh, that can be open in Microsoft Word and edit it there. 
All right. Uh, all right. Uh, we will wrap it up with uh, with last question. Uh, we will review all the the whole discussion later on and and reach out to you if we've missed something. So the last question, I I think it's a it's a good way to finish. Is uh, idea Statica runs very quickly non-linear material analysis compared to other finite element analysis software? What is the difference? How is it possible? <laughs> and the answer to this is that we've, uh, we've developed uh, a unique finite element uh, analysis solver and it's dedicated only to the connection. So we do not uh, 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 try to model the whole structure. We use a very robust computational core on a specific detail in the construction of the joint. So that's why we can make it uh, much faster. Yeah, and it's not the uh, finite element analysis, it's not the full, it's, com uh, it's a combination of uh, component method and this FEM analysis. Very well. All right. Uh, thank you all for, uh, for joining in. Uh, uh, please fill out the survey. Uh, uh, let us know about the testing. Let us know about the verification of your connections. Uh, and uh, we'll reach out to you with recording and questions we have not covered. Thanks again and have a good day. Goodbye. Bye-bye.